Now with Open for Business, you've seen Chef Hugh Mangum on GMA before serving up terrific barbecue. These days, he's gone from cooking meats to making treats by opening a thriving donut pop-up right in the middle of this pandemic. Take a look. Hey, I'm Hugh Mangum, and welcome to the Rise Donuts pop-up in Wilton, Connecticut. It's safe to say that Chef Hugh's donut shop is more than on the rise. It's just been incredible. The community has supported us week in, week out. It's grown, the lines get longer, and it's just been a complete love fest. Fritters, glazed, cream-filled, the culinary creations enough to make your mouth water. The public lining up, selling out the tiny pop-up each day. We usually see Chef Hugh not here, but here. When the pandemic hit, his barbecue business took a hit. But when his kids started making donuts during quarantine, Chef Hugh got an idea. It kind of got my wheels turning and my wife Laura and I decided to start making donuts as well. And about 100 batches of donuts later, a couple weeks later, we decided that we had some phenomenal donuts that we really wanted to share with people. Sharing is indeed caring and judging by the lines, it shows no signs of slowing down. I think part of it is like this kind of special thing where people want to be the ones that discovered their favorite band. Um, we're kind of right now their favorite band and hopefully that stays that way for a very long time because we're super happy to be here. Full disclosure, uh, Hugh, uh, you're one of my favorite bands as well. My, <laughs> I got a request from my kids yesterday. Can we go to the donut shop on Sunday? So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hugh is with us now. I'll see you the, tomorrow, Dan. the donut maestro himself, Hugh Mangum. Uh, Hugh, we're gonna, my colleagues and I are going to start eating some of your donuts fresh, fresh from your shop this morning. Janae told me if I didn't include her in this segment, she would cut me. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Um, so here I am. <laughs> so we have some donuts here, but they still need the best part, the filling. So what's the secret to filling, finishing these donuts? Um, so I, I pre-popped the holes in those donuts for you guys early this morning. So the main thing you want to do is find the hole in the donut, take the bag you've got, which the small tip, I've got this cool thing called a Bismarck tip. You don't have that. Um, so you got to be extra careful to get the bag in. You want to get as far as you can down, and you're going to squeeze from the top of the pastry bag, not low. If you squeeze too low, it'll pop out the top. And just squeeze it till your cup <laughs> runneth over. I'm still oh. squeezing. That, that, that worked out for I'm that worked out well. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, or, or you so can just good. take the, take a bite of the donut and squeeze the bag directly into your mouth. That's, That's my check. Oh my god, this <laughs> filling is like ice cream, but not like Delicious. it's so so good. Okay, so you're usually manning the fryer, but frying dough can be a little intimidating for the home chef. So what are some tips for all of us people trying to do this ourselves at home? Uh, I mean, just a couple of tips. If you're gonna fry donuts at home, the main thing you wanna do is have a pot that's uh, high-sided, and you only wanna go about a couple inches up with oil. So essentially, there should be at least two to three times the height of the oil so that you don't, with displacement with the heat, you know, boil over and burn yourself or burn your house down. Um, the other thing you wanna do, it's kind of a counterintuitive thing, but when you're dropping donuts into hot oil, you don't want to drop them from high up. You want to drop them really close to the oil so that they won't splash up and burn you. Got we it. fry our donuts at 350 degrees, so that's generally what I recommend. And maybe a candy thermometer would be a great tool to have for that. Great, great tips. Uh, I, I got to ask you though, Rise, it's a family business. Uh, do you enjoy and love working with the family, with the kids? Yes, I've got all my kids and my wife are here. They're gonna they're gonna come into frame. But so this has been like the silver lining of the pandemic. Um, it's Love been horrible, that. obviously, for so many reasons for so many of us, for chefs. Um, and you know, Mighty Quinn's has been going strong uh, even through the pandemic. But with my wife and kids, this has been the first time in almost 18 years I've gotten to spend a lot of time with them. So this whole thing was born out of Henry and Quinn making donuts. And we get to spend every weekend together now. And truthfully, like my wife, Laura, is, oh my God, she's over there. She's, uh, she's the brain behind this whole thing. No question about it. Hugh, thank you so much. Thank you to all the Mangums. If you're near Wilton, Connecticut, swing by Rise on Friday nights from 6 to 8 and weekends 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. until they sell out. And they sell out <laughs> and the place closes. It's brutal. Uh, so it's good to have a friend who makes the donuts.